How's it going everyone? So, starting episode two of firewood tips and tricks for chainsaws. Uh, stuff I do to make things easier or save money, save time. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a shop. It's poor lighting and stuff in here. But uh, today we're going to talk about bar oil and free bar oil. Um, bar oil is great. Uh, most manufacturers chainsaw manufacturers say to run their brand or high quality bar oil um, my experience I've been running used motor oil for going on two years now and have not had one problem uh, I filter well normally I never used to filter um, my bar oil or my used motor oil uh, I figured it'd come out of the truck, it was clean and stuff like that. Well, I got a bucket of motor oil out of my uncle's logging truck and it had some sludge in it. So I come up with a method to uh, filter it. I just use window screen just to get the big chunks out so it ain't clogging up your oiler. Um, one of these jugs of bar oil is $20. The last time I checked, it's been quite a while ago, it was $20. Uh, where I buy my bar oil and when I was cutting timber I'd go through one and a half to two of these a week so there's 30 to 40 dollars per week you know you times that by 52 I'm not good with math I'll drop it in the across the screen when <laughs> I edit this video but yeah 30 to 40 dollars a week just in bar oil that's pretty ridiculous used motor oil is just as good um, don't knock it till you try it. So yeah, we'll go over what I do. Um, and I like to filter five gallons at a time or whatever I have, whatever bulk oil I have, I'll filter as much as I can into an empty bucket. And then I'll dump it into these jugs just cause it makes for easier pouring into my combo cans. So uh, we'll get started with that. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions drop a comment i'll try and get back to you i haven't been getting back to the comments lately i apologize we've been super busy uh as most of you know the toyota was down i've been working on that uh i did a bunch of work to it today so we're gonna go well i'll go tomorrow and cut some firewood and uh see how it goes so yeah it's archery elk season kids are starting school kelsey's at work i'm trying to cut wood after i bring kids to school Life's pretty hectic, so I'm trying to get content out there. I'm trying to answer questions and stuff like that or comments. Uh, I apologize if you guys feel left out. Um, maybe tomorrow I think I'm going to do some shout outs on the video uh, just to say thank you to all of our supporters. Um, there's people who have been here since day one, and we're rolling up on a year since we started putting out content. Uh, it was last November, I believe. Uh, and the same people that were here from the start are still commenting we love you guys very very much uh, we appreciate all your support uh, it means a lot to us so anyway we'll get busy with this okay so when i filter my oil i uh take window screen and i'll make kind of a bowl that way uh the sludge don't clog up the screen and uh, overflow the side of the bucket. You know, this is, this is just my experience. Um, used motor oil works great for me. If you don't like to use it, that's totally fine. You can purchase bar oil and pay top dollar for it this is for someone who is trying to save money or maybe does not have the money to go buy bar oil say you're say you're trying to uh start out a new firewood business you just bought a new saw you just bought all the new gear and oh man i forgot bar oil well, here is a way to fix that. 
again just pour it right through the this is a window screen out of an old window I had and I'll filter all the oil that I have into this bucket you know, I'll fill the bucket up and then I'll transfer it into my two gallon or gallon jugs to make it easier to transfer into my combo cans and then I'll save these buckets <clears throat> You know, for packing tools around, I'll clean them out really good and degrease them. And they're great for around the yard, stuff like that. This bucket did not have much sludge in it. Good deal. Well, it is full. I will swap this lid. I think I threw the lid to this bucket away. And then I will have five gallons of bar oil. If I was to go and buy this, that's $50 right there. Cut a lot of wood with that. And like I said, my experience it does not mess your chainsaws up like most people say. Um, I've been running it almost two years now. I have not had any problems other than with having to replace a tip on the chainsaw bar. And we'll go over uh, replacing tips and getting greasable tips. I have a grease gun for your sprocket nose tips. Ordered it from Madsen's online best uh online store great prices then you just use axle grease wheel bearing grease <clears throat> so yeah and then i will add that into my two gallon jugs just like i said it's easier to pour into the combo can Well, I hope this helps you folks. Um, like I said, if you're into buying high dollar bar oil, so be it, that's totally fine. Uh, manufacturers say you need thicker bar oil for summertime and thinner for winter. I run this year round, use motor oil, summer, winter. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. Like I said, this is my experience. I've heard a lot of guys say, oh, I burnt the tip up on a bar, I burnt the bar up, and I kind of don't think that's from used motor oil, because if your oiler's working properly, that oil will go through and keep your chain. I run a 32 inch bar on all my saws. I have a couple 28 inch using used motor oil. It keeps my bar lubed up. I've not burnt up a bar. I went through a tip, but I've had that tip and ran it a year and a half um 20 bucks for a tip and i've saved well we'll do the math and i'll add it in figure 30 dollars a week say i was cutting timber steady every day of the week you know 52 weeks out of the year uh 30 to 40 dollars we'll go on the low side say 30 dollars worth of bar oil a week you know times 52 and if I only have to replace one or two tips on a bar a year, 20, 40 bucks, that's a lot less than purchasing all this in bar oil from big box stores and saw shops and stuff like that. So anyway, stay tuned. I will have some more tips and tricks and stuff I do with my saws, my tools, cutting firewood and stuff like that. Uh, like I just mentioned, maybe we'll, we'll go over uh, replacing a tip on a chainsaw bar getting the greasable tips that way they do last longer you can use I'll show you how to load the little grease gun and stuff like that so wish you folks good health and happiness thank you guys for watching uh, stay tuned hopefully tomorrow I will be cutting firewood and have some firewood videos up uh, like I said it's elk hunting season and we're pumped we've been getting into some elk little guy almost got a shot at a spike the other day uh, I got in on a big six point last Saturday. Uh, yeah, it's it's been good. 
It's my favorite, one of my favorite times of year. The other is chasing big whitetail during the rut. I love rattling whitetail and not tree stand hunting. I love cruising down ridges and rattling. Sit 30, 40 minutes, nothing comes in. Beeline down the ridge some more, rattle some more, and just keep doing that running and going. So yeah, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching. As always, wish you good health and happiness. Stay safe. Keep your saw sharp, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and if Miss Gemma is watching, I got my new glasses. I can see very clear. Oh yeah, my new West Coast saw hat. Loving this hat. Uh, it took me a bit. I didn't like the way the bill was shaped or how. It took me a little bit to shape the bill to where I like it. So, anyway, over and out.